What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.36 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, Consider two concentric spherical shells of radius of radii A and B. Suppose the inner one carries a charge Q and the outer one has a charge negative Q, both of them uniformly distributed over the surface. So calculate the energy of this configuration using equation 2.45 and equation 2.47 and the results of equation of example 2.9. Okay, so in this video, we're going to focus ourselves with, equi uh, with letter A. And then in the next video, we're going to solve letter B. Okay, so first, let me, allow me to draw the configuration. Okay, so here we have two configurations, two concentric spheres, spherical shells of radius A and B. Okay, so in this case, we're now going to have three regions from equation 2.45. Okay, and the stored energy is equal to epsilon naught over 2 times integral of square of the magnitude of the electric field d tau this is volume integral and the integration will happen over all space so just like in our previous example we need to find the electric field for the for all possible regions in this case inside the inner uh, inside the inner shell between the two shells and outside uh, of the other shell okay so it's mentioned here that the inner one has a positive charge q and the other one has a negative charge q okay so if we're going to notice here we have three regions the first three uh, the first region okay so let's go to use red so this is the first region so this is r for the first region and you will notice that the enclosed charge is zero so that means the electric field is zero now for the region between the two shells so this is r so we notice that for number two Region number two, uh, Q enclose is equal to Q. So therefore, by Gauss law, so this is E A times Q over epsilon naught. So this will yield with an electric field of one over epsilon uh, one over four pi epsilon naught times Q over R squared R hat. Okay, so that's easy and then the last one be uh, the last one would be this region okay so this region R number three region number three Q enclose is zero so therefore the electric field is zero okay so this integral therefore will now be reduced to one form or one term uh, wherein the integration will only happen from A to B. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, so this becomes epsilon naught over 2 times integral of E squared D tau wherein the region of R is less than b and then r is greater than a so how do we implement this so this is epsilon naught over 2 times integral of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught remember this e is magnitude so we don't uh, use uh, we don't include in the computation the unit vector r hat so this is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r squared squared and then d tau for spherical coordinate system is r squared 
sin theta dr d theta dv. Okay? So simplifying this, we now have epsilon naught over 2 times q over 4 pi epsilon naught squared times the integral of uh, r squared dr evaluated from a to b then integral of sine theta d theta evaluated from 0 to pi and then d phi integral of d phi evaluated from 0 to 2 pi so this is 4 pi and this is uh, 1 over a minus 1 over p so the total work done may now be equal to q squared over one of the epsilon here will cancel uh, and then there is 4 pi here what will cancel with one of the 4 pi here so this becomes 4 pi times 2 so that becomes 8 pi epsilon naught times this one would be 1 over a minus 1 over b this is now the total work done or the total energy stored uh, in this configuration of two concentric spherical shells. And we expect that by using equation 2.47 for letter B and the results of example 2.9 will be able to obtain the same result. Okay, and that will be the topic of the next video. So for now, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.